My strategy for solving this problem is going to be based on utilization of the mole bucket. Because we know the starting mass of the two different reactants, we want to start here on the diagram. We know the mass of both sodium chloride and silver nitrate. Now, using the molar mass of either of those two compounds, we can convert that uh, starting amount of a reactant to number of moles of a reactant. Uh, this allows us to work in the mole bucket. This is where we are going to use the ratios of products and reactants from the balanced chemical equation. So this is going to allow me to convert in my problem talking about reactant to talking about an amount of product. Uh, so this will allow me to calculate how much product silver chloride is going to be produced and then I can use the molar mass of silver chloride to get back out of the bucket to calculate a mass of silver chloride that I would expect to have at the end of this reaction.